Hi guys, it's Kelly and we're doing this quick little video to help your mini senior session turn out amazing. So we're going to talk a little bit about what to wear and some tips on what to bring and a little bit about makeup and stuff like that. So you'll be all prepared. So since the mini senior session is just one outfit, it really matters what you wear. So let's start first of all by just talking a little bit about makeup. And uh, we can definitely add makeup to your mini session. It's $55, but I'm telling you it is so worth it because we can do makeup like nobody's business and it will look super natural, but it will be blended very well and it will make your skin look amazing. And it's a little bit different doing makeup for photography. Doesn't necessarily mean more makeup it just means that we blend it like I said we, we know where to put concealer in the right places and we get rid of shine so if you want to add that definitely email us at kellyweaver2 at me.com and we'll get that added for you and she'll come on site before your session and do your makeup if you want to do your own makeup what we usually recommend is just make sure to have some eyeliner um, that does help make your eyes pop for sure you'll at least want eyeliner um, and then some light you know maybe light eyeshadow and a little bit of contouring in your corners and make sure your lashes really stand out and then you'll also want to a few days before your session you're going to want to make sure your brows are very well groomed if not waxed or threaded so if you haven't heard of eyebrow threading you can go to park meadows mall and they have a place that you can just walk in and they'll do basically what they do with waxing but they use um, dental floss and they get all those little stray hairs underneath there. So make sure your brows are very well groomed a few days before your session. And um, we also wanna make sure that when you do your hair, you do it how you normally do, but just give yourself just a little bit of root volume. And if you normally do it straight, that's fine too, but still give yourself some root volume. If you're not sure if you'd normally do it straight or curly, I would do it with some maybe loose waves because that's gonna add some movement. So let's talk about other tips that are very helpful. The first thing I wanted to share with you was this guy. So make sure to wear deodorant that doesn't leave a mark on your clothes. So the Invisible Dry is a really good option. You can actually get it at the dollar store at Let's see, where is that? Right by Arapahoe High School, they have it there. And pretty much any uh, other dollar store, oftentimes they'll have that kind. So that's a good option. For your nails, we really recommend, and this is not what I'm wearing right now, this is kind of bright white, but um, we recommend, there is a product called Vinyl Lux, and it's made by Cindy, C-N-D, and it's the same company that makes the shellac type of polish, but it's for natural nails. You can get it on Amazon.com, but if you don't have time to do that, this is a good color choice. It's the color that usually goes over a French manicure. This one in particular is called Neglige, but that OPI Cotton Candy Pink works really well. Um, or you could do a French, or if you do a color, make sure you're really, really happy with the color because you're gonna live with it for the rest of your life when you look at your senior pictures. So we usually do recommend you go a little bit neutral on the nails and then add pops of color in different ways. So because we just have the one outfit, we really wanna talk about that too. So what you'll wanna do is you choose an item that is a solid color that blends well with a brick background because we start with a brick background. So a good color choice would be what I'm wearing, which is kind of a dark magenta and some other good colors to wear are fuchsia, coral, pink, um, chocolate brown and black are probably the last couple on the list, but I'd usually say add one of those colors and that works really well. But again, you're going to have to stay with that with that outfit. So what you could do to change it up a little bit, and we're happy to do this, is just add a jacket. So this particular jacket is one that fits tight to the waist. That's very, very important. Something else we need to mention is when you choose your shirt and or your jacket, you need to make sure that it is tight to the waist. So if I zipped this up or if I took this off, see how it fits tight to my natural waist? That's very important. You don't wanna choose something that's loose and flowy because that will add weight. You also wanna choose something that has a little bit 
of coverage for your bra strap and if you want to go sleeveless and take the jacket off you need to make sure that your bra strap does not show underneath here so make sure to choose something that hides your bra straps a strapless is a good good idea but um, if you have something that like this for example that's going to lay tight against your body and not show a line right here that's a very very important thing to consider when you're choosing your undergarments and if you want to throw on a jacket you can like i mentioned you can also easily throw on a scarf and we can add that no problem no extra charge for that so usually solid color v-neck tailored fitted to the body add a jacket and a scarf if you'd like and then jeggings or leggings and boots are a great choice so those are just some ideas on what to wear if you do decide you want to upgrade to the regular package there's a couple differences i can mention in that package you get three different outfits to choose from your makeup is included and we also give you almost twice two to three times the amount of poses to choose from so just something to think about. Um, if you're interested in upgrading, again, email us kellyweaver2 at me.com or just call us 720-201-0402 and we can't wait to do your session. Make sure that you come in your outfit already on and ready to go. So we're excited and we'll see you soon.